Welcome back. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has long boasted about how well he handled the COVID pandemic. He's even won an Emmy for all those press conferences from early on. You remember about a year ago, maybe less. But now even his own left wing comrades have come to the conclusion that not only were his policies pretty terrible, they may have led to thousands of deaths. Big news in a new report, the New York Attorney General cites his administration undercounted COVID-19 deaths in nursing homes by as much as 50 percent, all based on an investigation in March. And it only gets worse from there. For more on this, we are joined by Nick Langworthy, chairman of the New York GOP. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. Good to talk with you. You've seen this report. Just lay it out for us. Give us the big point here. Well, it's a scathing report yeah. delivered by a hand-picked attorney general by this governor. Uh, Tish James was someone that Andrew Cuomo shilled to get votes for, he promoted, uh, and she's an extreme left-wing agenda attorney general. Right. And she has released a 76-page scathing report, you know, saying that it is the administration that covered up the amount of COVID deaths that we had in nursing homes in New York. This is something that Republicans across New York, you know, Elise Stefanik, Tom Reed, many others uh, in our state legislature have been pounding on all year that this cover-up took place, that we had COVID-positive patients, that March 25th executive order that Andrew Cuomo uh, submitted insisting COVID-positive patients go into nursing homes while prohibiting testing. This was a toxic brew that led to the death of far too many New Yorkers. It's, it's an unbelievable story, and it really it was so sad because so many people lost somebody to something that should have never happened. Cuomo has actually attacked the Department of Justice for probing his COVID nursing home order in March that directed these nursing homes to accept back these patients that had COVID. Uh, here he is last year after being questioned about it. They have done a terrible job on COVID from day one, and they want a counter defense. The conspiracy they're trying to, to spread just it has no factual basis. Uh, but yes, people in nursing homes died, and they're playing politics with the issue. Yes, people died Was in nursing mistake? homes, Savannah. Uh, no, look, if you look at how many people died in nursing homes in New York compared to other states, we actually have a lower percentage of people who died in nursing homes. But we had more people die than any other state. That's a fact. The reason that happened was because we had the virus coming from Europe when the federal government told us the virus was coming from China. <laughs> I mean, blaming the federal government, calling it politically motivated, doesn't want to own up to his actions. I mean, the way he's handled this has, has just really ruined his reputation. Well, Andrew Cuomo, you know, in fact, the guy wrote a book at halftime of a pandemic talking about what a great leader he was. Uh, you know, the fact that the media gave him an Emmy Award for these broadcasts. He really uh, got caught up in his own cult of the personality. Right. And Andrew Cuomo has usurped all power from New York state government. We have uh, the entirety of our legislature uh, has given away their authority. I mean, we need them to come back take their authority back and hold this governor accountable. We need hearings. We need subpoenas. We need the Justice Department to get back involved in this situation so that these families can have justice. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, at least the AG has come out. That is a huge moment. Like you said, that's his hand-picked AG, so that, that says a lot. The New York Health Commissioner, though, Dr. Howard Zucker, has come out claiming that there was no undercount of the total death toll. He wrote in a statement today, the word undercount implies there are more total fatalities than have been reported. That's factually wrong, he says. In fact, the OAG report itself repudiates the, the suggestion that there wasn't any undercount of the total death number. So what's he saying? Is that right? I, I mean, it, it, they're just trying to play political games here. The death count is accounted for. The question mark is how many died in nursing homes because of the terrible decision making of Andrew okay. Cuomo in this administration. The decision making led to many more people losing their lives than needed to. I mean, by his own quotation, he said that if COVID-19 entered the nursing homes, it'd go through like a flame through uh, dry grass. And it did. And he claimed only 6,000 people originally lost their lives in nursing homes. It looks like it's more 
like 13,000 or more. And it is, it is a tragedy of epic proportions. I mean, many people, I know people, I mean, most New Yorkers know someone that's lost a relative in a nursing home uh, due to COVID-19. It's yeah. unfair. It's been unfair to the families, and they lost, you know, their family members in silence. Yeah, and it's, it's finally coming to fruition, and a lot of people have worked a long time for this. Uh, finally, and real quick here, uh, today House Republican Whip Steve Scalise uh, put Governor Cuomo on blast, saying that he sent a letter directly to him demanding he turn over all the nursing home data and stop the cover-up. Um, what do you think happens with this? Do you really think there is a cover-up here? I mean, is there an actual Cuomo cover-up? I, I think there's absolutely a cover-up. There's yeah. no, no doubt in my mind that there's a cover-up. This governor is a notorious micromanager. He wants to control everything. He thinks he's the smartest person that's ever served in government. Uh, he calls in the orders. And Howard Zucker is, is nothing but a bureaucrat in this, the health commissioner. He was he, uh, put out there today to make a statement as a puppet. Uh, this is something that goes all the way up to the top desk. And Governor Cuomo, in his own words, at one point during this pandemic said, if things go wrong, blame me. If things go wrong, blame me. Well, F Governor, we are blaming you. Yeah. You have to be held accountable. And, and Governor, stand up and, and take your medicine here because you are the one that made these decisions. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of talk about Cuomo maybe running for president. There was, I mean, when it, when it was April, May, I mean, he was the hero. He was the voice of reason everybody looked to. These are the kinds of stories. This is the kind of stuff that can prevent him from going anywhere politically after this. It's a big story. Nick Langworthy, chairman of the New York GOP, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, Rob. All right.